um i haven't posted a video in a minute but i am back um i started work <laughs> so that's why i haven't really um been making a lot of content but i wanted to do a quick video talking about something that i have that is um it may be a little weird it may be a little water ish actually let me zoom y'all in oh, i can't zoom in or out in this mode that's crazy all right but i love it because i'm very sentimental and um i don't know i feel like i won't regret this i feel like i won't regret it so i would like to introduce y'all to my makeup vault oh all right so what is a makeup vault well, for me, it is a collection of all my most um, memorable makeup pieces. All my, like, first, any makeup, see, look, it's hitting the table. Any makeup that has any sentimental value to me, collectors, um, stuff that I just want to keep. And as you can see, it's pretty big. What I did was I use one of those, what is this brand called? Stereo Light. Light. The tubs that you see at Walmart. Now, I'm not going to lie. This tub is it's probably going to have to get replaced pretty soon. Because <laughs> there is some stuff that I'm going to have to put in here. But I wanted to go through the makeup vault and just show what I have. Um, I would do an overall view, but it's a really heavy box. But, alright, so first thing I'm going to pull out is the makeup bag I have on top. This is the Wet n Wild's Twin Little Star Collection. Um, I'm very much a Sanrio girl, like, right directly behind me, like, right here, and there, too is my like Sanrio collection. And then over there, I have a bunch of Sanrio plushies that I have. So I'm very much a Sanrio girl. And pretty much everything in here are the like Creme Shop lip balm macaroons. They're all Sanrio except for two. Um, this is like from the BTS collection. And this is uh, J-Hope's character. And I think I have Taeyong's character. But everything else, like, you see the Hello Kitty, Cinnamon Roll, um, Kuropi, not Kuropi, wait, Kuropi, what am, what am I saying? Okay. Um, I think I have my Melody, and there's a bunch more in there. I have a Kuromi one. But it's not in here. Mm. Mm. Oh, snap. I threw that. So, right underneath that bag, I have this MAC free gift little drawstring bag that I got for Christmas one time. This is controversial. I only have this because I wanted free shipping. But I'm probably going to give this away. Um... I put it, when I initially did my makeup vault, I put it in here just because I just didn't use it and didn't have a place to store it. Um, yeah. And I don't know, maybe I didn't give this a good, good enough shot. Um, maybe I didn't give it a good enough shot. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If I give it a shot... And I like it, it'll probably stay. If I don't like it, or if I like just feel like it's not worth keeping in the makeup vault or not worth keeping at all, I will give it to whoever. Um, I might sell it. Who knows? But I do have this from Dragon Beauty because I got it for my 20th birthday. My favorite color is pink. All right? Favorite color is pink. And when I seen this, I was just like, ah, it has to be 
my birthday eyes. I used it for my birthday and that was it. <laughs> and that was it. So, but it is memorable because it was for my birthday. Next, Fenty Beauty. This is a Fenty Beauty makeup bag that came with the Trophy Wife collection. It was a limited edition collection. Dish it, dish it. Uh, edition collection that they had going on on the Fenty Beauty website and I at this point have three Trophy Wife compacts um, I got one for Christmas one year um, I don't remember how I got the second one but the third one I got through this collection and there was a reason why I got this collection mainly because and see here's one of them Mainly because, well, I'm going to hold that off until we get to it. But inside, eh, the makeup bag, right? We have Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Balm and Royal Icing. Funny thing, this was in my makeup vault. And like some weeks ago, I ordered Royal Icing again. I don't even like it, you guys. So now I have two Royal Icing diamond bombs um i like the original one how many carrots but i do have some buxom lip glosses and i keep these because they were my first buxom um products they're very glittery and just beautiful this one is Ch chelsea chelsea and this one is serena like look at that it's gorgeous I have a NARS lip oil in the shade High Security. I have this in my makeup vault because my boyfriend bought it for me. Um, I don't like purples. <laughs> but for some reason, he's always grabbing toward, gravitating towards uh, purple lips for me. I don't know. I don't know. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uninvited, and this is a black color. Come on, I had to get it. I had to get it. I also have another lip paint, and let me shake it, because you know. In the shade Unlocked. Now, I got this for my senior prom. I wore, like, the same exact shade in a dress, because I was going for a... Uh, a Madonna material girl, um, diamonds are a girl's best friend, Marilyn Monroe look. And I use this on my lips and I use this for my eyeshadow. It was crazy. I was very fuchsia'd out. <laughs> I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Crystal Lip Gloss. Um, the only thing I've ever purchased from Anastasia Beverly Hills is eyeshadow palettes. Um, so this was like my first like time of venturing out into their brand other than the eyeshadow palettes. And this is glittery like, come on. Anybody knows me, I love glitter. Glitter. Next, I have my one and only Dior lip gloss in the shade Princess. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I bought this on a trip to um, a big city here with my friend, um, Nice So Pretty. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel, so I'll link her. And also, I have the Fenty Beauty Summer Collection. I can't remember what the actual collection name was. Woo! Yo. Pause, because I just dropped something in the trash. I'm back. <laughs> so, I actually originally bought this, like, right when it first came out. I had a gift card for Sephora uh, for my birthday, um, and I bought this. And then I lost it the same night. Very, very upset. Very upset. I, I'm going to say lost, because I low-key feel like somebody stole it. You know what I mean? And, uh, period. Um, but yeah, I got these lip glosses. I really was just drawn to this lip gloss right here. And, um, maybe I'll bust these out this summer. Who knows? 
next in here what i dropped in the trash clinique's black honey viral 2020 i will always remember this for the pandemic pandemic and then speaking of that summer collection i have all the liquid eyeliners that came out in that collection <laughs> Right, moving on next is my calvin klein little pencil pouch that i really honestly never used for pencils i used it for makeup so what's next in here i'll give you a little sneak peek it's like, okay because cool. then everything will fall out and i can't do that no more i have the Too faced Inge egyptian injection extreme and this hurts i do not need any plumping but for some reason i thought i needed it um <laughs> during the pandemic everything was like on sale on sephora so these urban decay lip glosses were on sale and yet again they're glittery they're pink so i bought them period the urban decay high shine high fi shine um lip glosses in spl and Big Bang. Then we're gonna move on to another Too Faced product, the uh, Sweet Tea Hardcore Lipstick. <sighs> this is supposed to be like another type of Black Honey Clinique lipstick, and it's very pretty, and I love the packaging. Um, but from Too Faced, I have a whole collection. Of these i can't even remember what the actual collection was called but these lip glosses and this pretty packaging i have them all there's more that isn't inside here that i have sitting on like stands and stuff i love it all i love all these shades i have to have them all. i have to have them all uh, my favorite one however is the jordan wood social butterfly color um, sad is discontinued. Justice for Jordan. I'm <laughs> oh, funny. Um, like anybody will ever see these videos. But that is all that is in this one. Let's see. Let's restock everything. So nothing falls over. Okay. Now, 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 now. These kind of just float around in there the kaleidoscopes space age highlighters and uh mars melter melter yeah and honestly i messed up and these look exactly the same on the skin can't really tell on camera but these are like these really cool duochrome shift type highlighters but they're kind of like this exact same shape i messed up i messed up next my brats makeup revolution collection uh makeup bag i'm a brats girl i look like a brats big head big feet um <laughs> my makeup style kinda i'm like a brats but make it more every day and i like had brats dolls growing up that i was never a barbie girl i was never a barbie girl period it was brats okay brats I mean, Barbie didn't, and Barbie wasn't black. Brats had, Sasha was black. Jada was Asian, you know what I mean? Yasmin, I believe is Hispanic. Um, not quite sure. Chloe, you know, she's a white girl. Um, love her though. <laughs> but Brats just related to me more. So inside here, yes, we have the pure uh barbie collection Ooh, after i just said i was never barbie girl <gasps> but i have these because of the packaging you guys look at the packaging look at the packaging um but i'm still not a barbie girl but look at the packaging look at the packaging look, look at the glitter look i had to i had to and then like it kind of shoots out at you so i got the red i think this is from the second round this red was called CEO. Okay. And this one was from the first one. And this was Timeless, which I believe is more like a mauve. And, like, look how glittery the lipstick is. Like, come on, you guys. It was glittery. 
But I, I'm, 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 I'm a brat's girl. You know why? Because look at that. Look at that. Look at this. So, I got every shade in the first initial launch of the Revolution Brats collection, except for Yasmin's. Mainly because Yasmin's lip gloss was purple. It was purple. It was bad. I had to return it. I'm sorry. Um, but I believe this one is Chloe. Got a nice little nude. All of them are nudes. What am I talking about? Um... This one is not attributed to anybody, but it's a clear lip gloss, and they're big and thick. Love that. It's a lot of product. Um, is it a lot of product? No, 0 0.8 fluid ounces, so I might, I'm wrong. <laughs> this one is Sasha's. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this one is Jade, which is more of a mauve nude. Um... Also, from the collection, the first initial launch, I have the Chloe Sasha lip crayons. I was not fast enough to get the Jade or the Yasmin's. So, yeah. <laughs> I have some Artist Couture. And I don't believe these are... I think he, like, discontinued these. Um... But I have Sugar Baby the lip gloss. Love the pink glittery. Then I have the loose highlighters in Illuminati and Coco Bling. Beautiful, beautiful highlighters. Like, But I had no business buying loose highlighters. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, next we have the Profusion cosmetics mean girls collection there is no names on these so i don't know i do have the mirror uh, uh, somewhere but <laughs> i do have the mirror next i have the ulta beauty hogwarts collection um i only have the lip gloss hedwig's uh lip gloss and it's a clear glitter then I have ColourPop's um, Hocus Pocus lip um, set, but I don't know where the lipstick is. I think the lipstick might be on my, my back display. Who knows? Then I have the NARS Orgasm X blush, and I think my boyfriend bought this for me as well. Um, I did have the Thrill, which is now discontinued, but it's lost, and I feel like low-key that one is stolen too. But with that one, I can't say no names because that'll cause a whole fight. You know, I, I, I try to keep it peaceful. You know what I mean? Um, I try to keep it peaceful. You know what I mean? I try. But, uh, yeah. Just know I won't never do that again for you. <laughs> no, because for real, that was expensive. Um, and this random Juicy Couture pink makeup bag i have the color pop uh sailor moon eye glitter um the color pop mulan lipstick very beautiful um like look at that color yeah i like that i like that and i love mulan princess tiana and princess Tiana, well, they're all technically princesses. Um, I don't think Milan is a princess. Technically, she's a general, right? She's a general. Um, princess Tiana, Milan. Um, I love Moana. They're all my favorites. But they're, it's not all my favorite Disney girlies. But as far as the Disney princess line, those are my favorites. Um, and for me to be Southeast Asian, the fact that Raya's not in there. I don't know. I just didn't enjoy Raya like I thought I would. Mm. Um, I have a mini Pat McGrath in Flesh 6. Um, I do have some larger Pat McGrath lip glosses. They may... <laughs> I think they're on that back display. I'm praying to God. I keep up with my makeup. Um, I have a relic. Y'all know this. Y'all know that Becca. I wish they would have lasted longer, but you know, 
COVID-19 got everybody, but this is the Becca Liptuative Glow Gloss. It was like a pH balancing lip gloss, and I wore the life out of this. As you can see, because now it's purple, it's crazy. I have some more from the ColourPop Sand, I was say San Rio, Sailor Moon collection, the blotted lip and the gloss. And then I also have I'm tired of dropping stuff. The Iggy Azalea BH Cosmetics uh, collaboration lip gloss. Um, I bought it mainly for this packaging. Like, she did a good job on the packaging. It was so cute. Like, what? And um, this one is called That Was Sexual. It was like the only pink one. And I'm, I'm not getting rid of this. Like, look at that. I love that uh, packaging. It was very Y2K, the whole collection. Next, the reason why I had to put a pin in that Fenty Beauty Summer Collection story, or no, not the Fenty Beauty Summer Collection story, the Trophy Wife Collection story was because da -da -da -da, I literally have every single gloss bomb she's ever made. she's ever made for real for real. no lie no lie no lie I, I i don't even use them all so this is actually lemon lava this is one of the heat additions but this is the trophy wife <laughs> the trophy wife gloss bomb i will never use this because i don't know this is like one of my prize my limited edition collectors and then it's also very sentimental in one of my prize possessions i would i would tear not just tear the house up i would burn down everything in sight if somebody took this for me like if you took this from me let's not even talk about it it also came with a glitter eyeliner in the shade trophy wife and also a lipstick in the shade truth uh why am I tripping over my words? Trophy Wife. Like, look at that. That is so cool. Trophy Wife was a moment. I kind of want to swatch it. Should I? Let's do it. Like, what? Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't, and plus, I don't know if I'm, like, Rihanna enough to rock that as, like, a lipstick. We'll, we'll see one day. One day I'll get the confidence. And then in here, I also have the Diamond Milk. Love that. I wore this for, I bought it and wore it for my senior year homecoming dance. Um, I have like a full on silver moment, essentially. Then I have Honey Waffles in the cream. And next is all the lipsticks. I got from her her first round of lipsticks, the really skinny ones. I have Dragon Mommy. I believe this is single. Spanked. My favorite is Candy Venom. Uh, look at that. A fuchsia pink. Candy Venom. Uh... Up to no good. And this is it's the black one. F in black. So in love. In love and love and love. Now that's not all. That's not all. Don't get it twisted. That is not all. Let's go ahead and get this all in there. Cause let me show you. Let me show you what it's not all. Now, mind you, this is not all the fancy gloss bombs that I have. Some of them are, like, in my purses, on my vanity and stuff. So, this is not all the holiday collections. These are the mini holiday collections. Like, for two years straight, she did, like, mini ones. And some of them went on, some of these shades went on to be, like, full-size permanent ones. But some didn't. This is Cheeky... 
Um, dang, folks is coming in the house and pretty please really needs to become a full size permanent one. Um Fenty Glow Fantasy. Don't know why this hasn't become permanent. Um Confetti. Don't know why this hasn't become permanent. Um Champ Stamp Fantasy. Don't know why this hasn't become permanent. <laughs> this is fussy. It became permanent as it should have. Um, this is Hot Chocolate Fantasy. Hot Chocolate Fantasy should become permanent. Um, this is Fenty Glow. And this is the regular Hot Chocolate. And that as it should became permanent. But as you can tell, I have I have some opinions about these minis. Some of these need to become permanent. Period. Period. But these aren't even all. Um, a lot of them are just in my purses and stuff like that. So maybe whenever I finish my makeup ball or I'm done with makeup or something like that, I'll show all of that. So the next, BH Cosmetics Bellini Palette. This is when I first got into blush and I was really into peaches. Right now I'm kind of into the pinks as you can see, but I was really into peaches. And this was my ride or die for a really long time when I first got into blush. Um, so what else? These two makeup palettes right here, they're beauty supply palettes. However, they hold a very sentimental meaning to me and um not quite quite ready to talk about it but i will do like because I, I feel like I, this needs its own moment but yeah this palette begged my mom one year during a black friday sale to get this for me it was like 40 on sale for 20 my mom was like okay get it a week or two afterwards Dropped it and shattered it. Damn it. <laughs> Dropped it and shattered it and haven't been able to use it since. I loved these highlighters. I hate that I dropped them. Lime Crime. Lime Crime. Look, I bought this after the whole situation with the owner. So, at least it was after she had left. But come on. This, this is gorgeous. Lime Crime is gorgeous. These like grungy romantic colors. Oh my gosh. So y'all was a brass girl. Oh, I was so happy, so excited when that collection came out. My first like real like colorful palette. Um, I had colorful palettes before. It's just not to this extent but this is glam light the ice cream dream palette um i did go through a moment where i just had to have everything new never used the palette but now i won't let it go because it's like a collaboration anyway <laughs> Then I have the Morphe X Pony palette. Pony is a Korean makeup artist. She has her own makeup brand that's very highly successful. And this palette is actually really beautiful. I really love it. And I want... It's just so many colors. Morphe's palette's got to be a lot. Like, and look, there's like a whole stack coming up right here. And then at the bottom, we have the James Charles palette. I got it because it was good for makeup artistry uh, purposes. Um... Not because I was like any huge fan. And not that you're wrong for being a fan of his. I'm I'm not sure about that whole situation anymore. I haven't kept up with it. Um actually, no, it says a lot about you if you're his fan. <laughs> I need to shut up. I have both the Prince Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. Um I got them because they were on sale. Not that I think he would have approved of these. <laughs> my first Pat McGrath palette. Oh my gosh. 
I got it on sale and their colors are gorgeous. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Rose Decadence palette on sale. Then we're going to rush through these. Wet n Wild Lilo and Stitch. Wet n Wild Twin Little Stars. Wet n Wild Spongebob. All of these characters are very um, sentimental to me. Uh, Lilo and Stitch, especially Nani. Oh my gosh. Disney girlies. I love them. My um, handle on Instagram is Queen Nani. Like, love them. Uh, now let's talk about it. My very first, to me, what was high-end and expensive. Because I'm a broke girl. <laughs> but this is like my first, very first high-end purchase which is the modern renaissance and you could tell look at all that wear and tear modern renaissance i have not touched it in years oh my god but it's still pretty like my eye is going towards the mirror oh i touched it we'll see what happens but love this this was gifted to me so thankful <gasps> I don't even want to talk about it no more. That was soft glam. I got this pink glittery, duh. All right. And then look at that pink. Look at that pink. Look at that pink. Look at that blue. I had to get this. I had to. Freaking Barb in the palette. I had to get this. I had to get this. I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to try those colors. All right. Ooh, showing too much of my background. Um, next, the individual palettes from the Makeup Revolution collection. Sasha, of course. Jade and Chloe. I was not quick enough to grab Yasmin's. <sighs> sad, 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 sad. Next in the makeup what is the Lime Crime smaller palettes. Here's Venus 3. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. This is Venus. Look at that. That grungy, romantic, greatest hits, classic, super grungy, super romantic. If I was a vampire, these would be my um, palettes. I also have the uh, Venus XL2 palette right here. And this will be, once I'm done using it, will be going into the makeup vault. That's why I like, I know I, like eventually I'm going to have to get a bigger one. Um, some other things that are out that I'm sure is going into the makeup vault. Glam Light, um, Strawberry Shortcake. It's going into the makeup vaults. Um, I also have the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. I was following Jackie Ina since, oh, I could do makeup. Or that I like even thought about makeup and um, for me if it does not work on a dark-skinned woman it's not gonna work on me period I don't even want to support it if it doesn't like come on that was the most this 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 is probably the best collaboration Anastasia could have ever did like this is gorgeous and that shade shooketh definitely broke <laughs> but this is gorgeous oh my god Gorgeous. This is going into the vault. The House Labs um, Cheek Topper in Rose Quartz is going into the vault eventually. Um, my Milani Bronzer. Not because it's limited edition or anything. Ah, see, the makeup vault is too heavy. But because of how much I re rely on it as part of my makeup routine, it's definitely going in there. So there will be an updated... Um, 
video because they're the second launch of the makeup revolution brats collection i have that it's just not in the makeup vault because there needs to be a bigger one <laughs> eventually though eventually you know you guys <sighs> but yep for right now this is the makeup vaults um this is probably a very long video but I just, I really love makeup. I love makeup for a really long time. Um, since a child. When I could buy Dollar Tree makeup. Um, then in middle school, whenever I kind of really got into it, like Wet n Wild was my brand. The Wet n Wild contour um, palette with the yellow and the bronzer. I need to get one of those and put that in my makeup vault. Because the way I ran through those, um, crazy. But makeup is something I could talk for hours about. It is truly my passion. Um, currently, I am working in Sephora Inside Kohl's, which I'm really happy about. I'm still in my training phases, so I haven't really got into it like that. Um, but once I do, I'll be able to talk more about it. Makeup is my passion. Do I want to become a makeup artist? I want to try it, <laughs> but I just really love makeup. I, I really want my own makeup brand. So this is going to be my manifestation. I'm going to have my own makeup brand one day. Oh, and while I'm talking, there is some stuff that will, right here in front of me, that will definitely go into. Okay, Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. For folks that know me, know I love that Bridgerton. They know I love Bridgerton. Um, I went to the Bridgerton Experience Ball. I just jumped from topics pretty quickly, didn't I? It's okay, it's okay. I went to the Bridgerton Ball, and that's where I got these two palettes, and then I ordered this and found this in TJ Maxx not too long ago. But Bridgerton, I am, this is going into my makeup vault. This is going into my makeup vault. I just need to find a bigger thing. I don't know. I might have to get it like an actual armoire. <sighs> where am I going to put it? Anyway, back into the little spiel. Makeup is my passion. I love makeup. One day, I will have my own makeup brand. I will be a billion dollar makeup brand business. Okay. I will be sitting side by side by Rihanna and Selena. By Miss Gaga. By Miss Nars. Miss Too Faced. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I know it's like, oh, 38 minutes. That's crazy. I'm so sorry. But thank you for watching my video. Um, I'm going to try to work on shorter content. But for right now, because I love to ramble. See, I'm doing it now. I love to ramble. So, you know, right now it's a little long, but I will be working on that. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.